Lake at Turtle Beach, and he's going to explain to us some of the new gaming headsets that he has. Sure, no problems. Uh, so we at Turtle Beach have a new uh, sp specific line of headsets that are specific to Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty. Uh, so we actually have four headsets in that line, uh, all with different price ranges, uh, covering different needs and functionalities. Uh, so they range from the Air Force Fox Shot, actually, which we can show right here. I'll take a look at that. So this is the Fox Shot. Uh, it's a stereo wow. wired headset. Uh, it's got a nice textured finish, so you can actually feel it That's for that military feel. <laughs> Uh, it's universal, so it's compatible with everything Xbox, PlayStation 3, PC, and Mac. Wow. All right, so. The new release of Modern Warfare 3 coming out, do you suggest that Modern Warfare 3 gamers purchase these headsets? Oh, absolutely. Uh, with the <laughs> Bravo and the Air Force, our two highest end headsets, we actually worked really close with Infinity Ward uh, in developing uh, kind of the sound profiles or presets that you can that you can upload and download to the headset. Uh, so it kind of just customizes the way the audio sounds in the game. You can like hear the bullets and everything. Absolutely. That is amazing. Hi, we're here with Dino for GoldenEye 007 Reloaded. Can you tell us a little bit about the game? Well, um, basically this is our release for Xbox 360 and PS3. Um, it's coming out this year with all of the multiplayer features you want. Um, it's everything. We have beautiful graphics. We have um, classic villains, a multiplayer. We have four-player split screen, which is actually going on behind me right now. Um, so all those fond memories from your childhood, like playing in the same room with four different people, that's there. Um, we also have 16-player online multiplayer. Wow. Yep. This is actually a new new engine built by Eurocom from the ground up. Um, it's built to support 60 frames per second, and it's built to kind of support the higher res images that the Xbox 360 and the PS3 kind of demand these days. Great. So for GoldenEye fans, is this um, a remake of the original game, or is this a sequel? Um, I wouldn't really call it either. It's more of a, it's a game made with uh, the original game kind of as an inspiration. Uh -huh. um, we wanted to kind of bring it into kind of like the new generation, into the new millennium and kind of... It looks yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah, the graphics are amazing. Yeah, it never look better. Yeah. Hi, we're here with Kit to talk about Kirby Return to Dreamland. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Kirby's Return to Dreamland is uh, you know, one of the many Kirby titles for the Wii. This one is a four-player game, meaning four people can play it at the same time wow. with a variety of different characters. So everybody can play as Kirby if you like, or there's some other characters from the Kirby series that they can play as as well. Something that's really neat is that Kirby is always able to eat enemies and take their powers. <laughs> so there's a lot of different powers that you can get in this one, like a big sword, or you can shoot fire or water. It's really fun. Um, so I was a huge fan growing up when I used to play Game Boy of yeah. Kirby's Dream Land. Right. This is like um, continuing from the end of that game. It's actually the first Kirby game that ever came out, the one on the Game Boy. Yeah, and uh, game. many <laughs> games later, here we are, Kirby's Return to Dream Land. So, you know, in that one he could inhale enemies. Yep. Um, so a lot of the same sort of mechanics. If you played that one, you're probably familiar with it, but there's some new stuff as well. Like we And the graphics, the graphics, oh, the graphics definitely are great. Yeah, yeah. amazing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.